Dealing with an Alzheimer's diagnosis can be quite challenging for families, but there are local resources available to help. And I want to welcome Michelle Jarjura, the director of the Walk to End Alzheimer's Jacksonville. Welcome to First Coast Living. It's my pleasure to be here, Mike. So this is something personal to you. Okay, yes. um, and you started this and you had no idea where it was going, but look at you now. So first of all, kudos to you getting this walk started, helping so many people. But for those that don't know, uh, let's talk about Alzheimer's, exactly what it is. Alzheimer's disease is not a normal part of aging. It is a progressive brain disease that causes problems with memory, thinking, and behavior. Mm -hmm. And you saw that firsthand with a family member? I did. I, my father had um, a form of dementia and I got to witness it firsthand for several years with him. Um, mm -hmm. And it is quite challenging for not just the individual, but the entire family. Right, and you talked about your family and your personal experience, but think about the community. This is something oh, yeah. I feel like we all know somebody unfortunately affected by this awful illness. So uh, tell us about its impact in the community uh, that you've seen well, firsthand. In Duval County alone, 16,000 residents ages 65 and up are currently living with Alzheimer's. Um, statewide, 580,000 Floridians, and that mm. number is, is, is projected to grow in the coming years. Whew, okay, so hopefully we come up with something to really help these folks, but you're doing that in the meantime. We are yes. coming up with something to help, so we've got an Alzheimer's walk. Tell us about it. Well, the Walk to End Alzheimer's is held in 600 communities throughout the U.S. It's the largest event um, to raise funds for Alzheimer's care support and research. Um, it's an opportunity for participants to come out and honor those living with the disease by participating in the Promise Garden ceremony. Um, each flower color in the Promise Garden represents our connection to the disease. So it's an opportunity for the community to come out and walk together. Not just a walk, but really healing. Yes. I can see, and, and actually that community coming together and talking to others and the stories you hear out there are amazing. Is this the first, second, or is this the first year you're doing this? Well, last year I joined the committee in January, oh. 2021. This okay. year is my first year as, right. a, you know, yes. leading the way. <laughs> Very so. good, you got your calling. Uh, tell us when it is, because I'm interested. Um, it's Saturday, November 5th at UNF Amphitheater. Um, registration begins at 8 a.m. and the ceremony at 9. Everybody mm -hmm. is invited to come out and walk with us. Um, registration is free. You can register at alz.org forward slash Jacksonville. Pretty easy. Okay, yeah. very good. Okay, sounds like a lot of fun. And okay, so for those affected or impacted by Alzheimer's, this is important. Where can they get some resources they may need to help uh, them or their families, right? The Alzheimer's Association is here. We provide local programs, support groups, and a 24-7 helpline that provides confidential information mm -hmm. um, and support to all of those affected in over 200 languages. Wow, so, so that's amazing. Yeah, or for more information, you can also call 1-800-272-3900 or visit alz.org. All right, Michelle Jarjora, let's, let's pave in the path and helping yes. so many people and should be a great walk. And thank you for all you're doing for our community. Thank you for having me. You got it. And of course, for another look at this segment, head to our website. That's firstcoastliving.net.